Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a pad called Interstellar Travel. So take a seat and close your eyes and let me take you on a voyage of your lifetime, young Padawan. Alright, if you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this patch and see how it was created. For our effects here, we just have a delay. However, I do have external reverb here and it is a Valhalla Vintage verb that I always think sounds a little bit better on synthesizers. So with that in mind, let's go look at the voice section and see what's going on here. So the first oscillator is going to be called corded and now this is going to be moving from LFO1 here. So this shape, this triangle shape is going to be moving at a tempo of 4 to 1. And as you can see, this is kind of moving according to this LFO1 here. I'm also using this LFO1 here to modulate the filter 1 cutoff, which is a ladder 24 dB. Now, this is at about 36 or 3674 hertz, and the modulation amount is kind of small at 6.799. And a subtle effect here, you see these two little nodes going here, and that's because this is on stereo at 0.128, so a little bit it goes a long way, I felt, for this one as far as the soundscape goes. Now, this is going to be eight voices of unison at 20% detuned here. The level is about 0.429. So just the oscillator by itself would sound like this. And just that sound itself almost sounds spacey or sci-fi kind of journey, something like that. So that's kind of where the inspiration of the name came from. So moving on, we have oscillator two. Now this one's going to be up one octave plus 12 here. The level is going to be a little bit louder, 0 0.679. Now this one's kind of more so to carry the top end, kind of almost the stringy type of sound to it, which sounds like this. All right, so this one is 16 voices of unison, so quite a healthy amount, 13% detune, and we're using the form scale, and that's modulated also by LFO1 at 0 0.302. As you can see, this waveform is slightly moving the whole time. Now, our envelope is kind of interesting because this is very typical pad type of envelope here. The attack is going to be at 4.068 seconds, so quite a long time for the attack to reach its maximum amplitude. The decay, 2.307 seconds, sustained 0.758, and the release at a healthy 1.857 seconds. Then moving on to oscillator number three, this is going to be on classic blend. And if we play a note here, we can see this is also modulated, but this is LFO2. So we click over here, also triangle wave, triangle wave and this is 16 over one. Because the main concept of pads, aside from the slow attack, slow release, and something like that, you always want to have things changing over time. That's really the, the main point to drive home with making any type of pads. And then moving on from here, um, oh, also, yes, this is going to be plus seven semitones, so a perfect fifth up. So we have regular, so no change for the first one, up an octave for the second, and plus seven for the third. Seven voices of unison, 10% detune. Now last but not least, we have a white noise. And this is kind of just adding some extra harmonic content to the sound. And both these two blue lights here should be checked. So now turning everything back on and let's listen to that. Very cool, so now let's look at our filters here. So the first filter here, 
this one is going to be accepting oscillator number one, oscillator number two, oscillator number three. And however, this white notice is only going to be sent to the effects here. And this is going to be ladder 24 dB. We think we already spoke about the modulation here. And filter two is kind of rolling off the low end here. And this is getting accepted from the first filter. So everything that's coming out of filter number one is then going into filter number two. And this is a ladder 12 dB. And while I see it here, filter number one, I did increase the drive at 3.257 dB. And for some more modulation, we have the random activated here. So now this is going to be an oscillator one tune, and this is going to be an oscillator two tune at this random Lorenz attractor one over four. So we can see this slightly here. Maybe the screen's kind of hard to see here, but we can see if we hover over here, we can see that random one is modulating both of these. Now for the effects, like I said before, it's really only delay 1 over 8 stereo for both sides and the feedback 42.18%, uh, mix 26.82, the cutoff is at 8 and the spread is all the way to the right at 1. And the delay here is more so to fill up the sound. Kind of a complement to the slow attack and release and all that. And that's pretty much it. So if you'd like to get this patch for free, check the video description below and it can be yours for the price of a link click as well as this awesome pigment skin that you see here. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.